So we've recently built a new report in Looker Studio that will track uh, the intent of all of your keywords and show you performance based on intent. So we can see, um, we'll automatically group the keywords that your website's ranking for by uh, informational intent, commercial intent, uh, transactional or navigational. So we have a series of rules that we use to classify which keywords belong in which bucket. Uh, and then what you can do is you can actually click on one intent type and see how your performance and how the metrics are trending for all of those keywords in that grouping. So for informational intent keywords, this website is seeing uh, average position improve uh, and you can see a massive in increase in clicks starting in October. So this tactic is working really well. Uh, then if we look at commercial intent, we can click through on the table below and it'll filter the two charts above to just the commercial keywords. Um, so the nice thing about this is it's interactive. You can quickly click through to these different intent types and then see how your overall uh, performance is trending. Now, sometimes there's a lot of formulas and a lot of different things uh, and some custom uh, fields we're entering into Looker Studio. So sometimes this takes a, a second to run. Uh, but once this is done running, we'll be able to see here, uh, same story actually. It looks like even with commercial intent, um, the click volume is a lot lower just because these keywords are lower search volume. But our performance seems to be trending in a similar direction. Uh, we've had some nice growth here from June to September and a little bit of a plateau here. So it could be worth investigating uh, if there's new keywords that would fit in this bucket um, or if there's ways we can improve the rankings of the current ones. Because it looks like on average, we're at the top of page two for this grouping. So... Um, again, this is just another way to show and kind of dig into where you're getting traction. Um, and if you're focused on a particular tactic, like maybe your, most of your scope is doing blog production, you're probably going to want to look at the informational intent keywords closer than you would the other ones. If you're more focused on optimizing product pages, or if you're making blogs, but they're more bottom funnel style that are targeting more commercial or transactional keywords, then you might want to focus on tracking the performance of that set of keywords.